I've been asked many times, Scott, why is it that your co-pilot looks different to mine? And it's a really hard question to answer because it really comes down to there are multiple versions of Microsoft 365 Copilot. One such version was once known as Copilot Pro. It wasn't available to people in the workplace, not unless you were a very small business or even had a family account. But Copilot Pro was also removed back in September of 2025, replaced with a product called Microsoft 365 Premium. Yep, that's not confusing at all. But the thing is, Copilot inside a Microsoft 365 Premium can do a lot more than you think, and it can even look a lot more like the Copilot I show you every single week in our tutorials. It can allow us to work inside of Outlook, Word, analyze data, and even use chat capabilities to come up with social media posts and AI images too. It can do a lot more than you may think. And that's why today, for all those people that have asked me, can I cover this in a future tutorial? This one is for you. So we're gonna be checking out how to use Copilot in the premium subscription, which is also known as Copilot Pro. So let's now head into Copilot and show you how to get the most from it. So first off, let's try and explain the different versions of Copilot and one where many people get stuck on. As we can see here on my screen, I've accessed Copilot using copilot.microsoft.com and I've also signed into my Outlook email address because I'm using a Microsoft 365 account but not a work or school account. That brings a bit of a question because on our latest tutorials, we always seem to use a different version of Copilot, right? And that can be pretty confusing to most people. This version of Copilot here is what many people use as their personal version of Copilot. And in fact, when you also have this installed on your Windows computer, which is often by default, you'll go ahead and open this Copilot app. And as we can see, it's a very different look and feel to what we would normally see in any of my tutorials. And in fact, if I wanted to use my Copilot for work or for schoolwork, I may well use a different Copilot. And with Copilot Premium and Copilot Pro, you also have access to the same Copilot that I also put out on our weekly tutorials, offering a great range of capabilities. But how on earth do we get there? Well, first off, let's look at it in that web browser tab where we started firstly. Let's go ahead and open your browser of choice. But instead of going to copilot.microsoft.com, instead we'll browse to m365.cloud.microsoft, signing in to your Microsoft account. And again, if you've got Copilot Pro or premium licensing, you'll be able to access this experience here. But what about the desktop app on your Windows computer? Well, there's actually a dedicated app that takes you to this experience. That app is known as the Microsoft 365 Copilot app. We can see it here running on my own Windows machine. But where is this app hiding? How can you get back to it quickly? Well, you can do so by clicking on the Windows key and then search for the word Copilot. If it's already installed on your computer, you'll find the app here. You can go ahead and left click it or right click it and pin it to your start or your taskbar. And if it's not here, open the Windows Store and download this app for free, which has been developed by Microsoft. So with that now known in terms of this experience I'm using right here is available to you, or well you can go ahead and access it. And when you do, you've got a huge range of capabilities available to you. Most we've already shared before on our channel. So if you haven't subscribed already, do hit that subscribe button because there's lots of content that you can now utilize with your version of Copilot. But of course, if you are starting out, let's look at the most fundamental skill of our Copilot that you can find value in. In this Copilot chat experience we're looking at here, we see a box of message Copilot and hi, how can I help as a message above that? This is where we can ask Copilot questions. If you use ChatGPT, well, this will feel very familiar. You can simply ask your question in this box, click on the enter key, and then send it straight in. In fact, it looks exactly the same on a web browser. You'll see it here, the same experience on the web browser too. It's both the Copilot app on your computer and the web browser tab are exactly the same. And this experience is called Copilot Chat because Yes, we chat with Copilot. So let's go ahead and give Copilot a question. Now remember, we're basing all of the scenarios around today that I'm running a coffee shop in the city of London, but I have a problem. There's not a lot of footfall on a weekend. So I'm gonna ask Copilot to come up with some marketing ideas on how we can improve the footfall and our customers 
across a weekend. Let's go ahead and give Copilot this question, which is outlining the requirement to come up with some ideas for marketing. We can now see here that Copilot responds in real time, but not just with a short answer. Top marketing ideas are weekend exclusive promotion, collaborating with local business, social media engagement and paid ads, and lots of other ideas too. At the bottom of the screen, we can still see we can message Copilot and continue the conversation with Copilot again. How about I now ask Copilot, to expand on option one. I'd like to understand more about what these promotions could work for us. We can see here why this option works, the ideas for the exclusive promotions, how to promote it, and action plan as well. Very useful here. But with these promotions, I'd like to go ahead and get this released, put it on our company Instagram feed, but I'm no good at writing Instagram posts. So let's ask Copilot to help us out with that. And all we simply need to do is scroll down and ask Copilot to create an Instagram post irrelevant hashtags so we can promote these ideas to our followers. And as simple as that, an Instagram post caption is generated. Pretty powerful. But Instagram posts don't work very well unless they have an image. We don't have any pictures, right? Well, Copilot Chat can create that for us. So we can see these examples here. It's come up with a cozy flat lay of your festive drink, a close-up of latte art. Well, how about we ask Copilot to actually create the image so we can use it in our Instagram post? I'll head down to Copilot at the bottom and say, create me image one. Because Copilot knows what image one is in this conversation, it will now invoke the ability to create pictures. And it begins to now create the image live on the screen using AI capabilities built right inside of Copilot. Yes, not copy and pasting from the web. It is effectively creating a brand new image. This process can take a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and continue with our picture. So let's take a quick moment just to consider that if you're struggling with Microsoft 365 and Copilot and unsure where to turn, well, why not have us help you out? Because here at Your 365 Coach, we focus on Copilot and Microsoft 365. We want you to get the most from the tools you already have and also be successful in using those tools. So you can check out the website link below where you can even see we have an on-demand learning academy we have 300 video tutorials, a community and live learning sessions every single month. As well as that, we can even provide training to you and your team to get the most from Microsoft 365 and Copilot 2. So now you know where to turn when you're struggling in Microsoft 365. Let's now head back into Copilot and continue to find out how to use it in the best possible ways. And there you go. An image has been created by Copilot, the coffee, pastry and the decor as well. How do we take this into Instagram or outside of Copilot chat? Hover over the picture, select copy or download. And there we go. An Instagram post, a picture to be used. Ideas, how we can improve the footfall in our coffee shop. This is exactly what Copilot chat can do and help you out, whether that's with schoolwork or just running your small business. But also it can do other capabilities built right inside of the apps that we use every day. So let's check out Copilot in Outlook. One of the big things that a lot of people get stuck with Copilot in Outlook is it can often reply to emails or draft them in a very robotic way. But now inside of Copilot, you can now also update the way that Copilot drafts its emails. To achieve that, we'll head into a new version of Microsoft Outlook. The right-hand side Copilot button in the drop-down to the right, then select Settings. In here, we'll head to Draft Instructions and you'll see I've already set these up. Your experience may well not show any of these and you'll see something like this on the screen. But if you enable it, you can go ahead and you can let Copilot know how you write your emails. That now ensures that when Copilot drafts emails, it will sound more like you, less robotic. So with that set, we can go ahead and come out of the Copilot settings. We'll now get more personal emails generated for us. We also have an email here. There's a local project running and they also want to arrange 100 pastries, 50 cold drinks and 25 hot drinks. But I'm really stuck on time. I need a professional email to go back, and maybe ask for some more information. So let's go ahead and click on reply inside of Outlook. But with the help of Copilot, we now see Copilot suggested drafts. We can select from any of these here and by left clicking on one of them, an AI generated reply is now created by Copilot. It's not a few words, it's in fact a few paragraphs. We can see here that it appreciates the inquiry. It asks for more details on the pastries, a variety of options that we've got, what juices or soft drinks will be needed and what tea and coffee are needed for the event as well. So you can see here, this is a very quick 
but professional email that we can simply select keep it and then send straight back to Alex to confirm the details of the event. As simple as that. You'll see sending it that even has a pop up to let you know that AI generated content should be checked, but I'm absolutely fine. I'm happy with that email. So as simple as that, Copilot can draft an email and you can send it in just seconds. But what about drafting a brand new email with the help of Copilot? Well, we'll select new email. And in this option here, we'll see draft with Copilot. Left click in this, we can now see it shows what do you want this email to say. Paste in the information, which is to draft an email to the local bakery to order 100 pastries for the 1st of December 2025, which is Alex's event he's asked for. And there we go. We now have an email generated by Copilot. But also, we'd like to expand on this. Maybe additional information. Ask about the pricing. So I'll simply ask in this box here, include details around the possible costs. With that now asked of Copilot, well, it will regenerate the email for us once again. We'll see it in real time. And we can see that right here. Additionally, it will be helpful if you provide an estimate of the costs involved. Select Keep It, and our email is ready to send to the bakery. So as simple as that again, with the help of Copilot and Outlook, it can also draft your emails as well as your replies, and even sound like you with some custom instructions. But as a small coffee shop, we have lots of information as well about how we perform, all the order information we got from our customers. The problem is, I'm not very good with Excel or analyzing this information. What I need to understand is what products work well for us, and also more about the time that people come to the store. It's gonna take me several hours to do that from this Excel data. But once again, showing you the tips I shared with you earlier, we can go back to our web browser tab and we can see the original conversation we had with our co-pilot. This time on the left hand side, we'll see an agent section selecting analyst. We can now go ahead and click on the plus icon and upload your information to analyst. This could be a spreadsheet of orders or analytical information or just a table of data. Whatever it needs to be, it can be added into analyst. Select open. And now we need to ask Analyst what it needs to do. Analyst is an agent, an AI agent with the capabilities to review data, find insights and provide information from that data. And it happens all automatically. Yes, no Excel knowledge is needed. So let's now go ahead and give Copana Analyst this question. We're now looking for quick insights from this data focused on the most popular products, the times of day where we are most busy, the days, the products, and what we should also start more of. Let's pass this over to Analyst, and now let it go ahead, extract the data, and begin to analyze it all. But how does it do that? Well, we only see a small snapshot from this window, but if I expand coding and executing, you'll get an idea of what's going on. The agent is bringing information out of the table and writing lines of code. Yes, software code to analyze the data and understand what is going on in the overall data schema. This can take a few minutes, so we'll go ahead and let Analyst do its job, and we'll check out the findings in just a moment. And Analyst has now finished its job. It took 107 seconds for it to do all of this analysis. Yes, around a minute and a half. Let's scroll down and see what it came up with. Well, it brought back the most popular products. Tea was our most popular, but cappuccino actually earned us more revenue. Tea wasn't even in the top three products, so maybe we need to increase the price of our teas. But the highest margin candidate is mocha. Fewer orders, but a strong yield on the price. So that's interesting too. The busiest times of day, peaks at 7, 11 and 5. Midday steady, but 7 o'clock, well there are no orders. And we close the store at 8, so maybe we should consider closing now at 7. The busiest days are Thursday and Fridays. Mondays and Tuesdays, not so good for us. The cup sizes... Regular dominates, then medium, large, and small. And the staff, while well, we need to consider getting them ready for the morning rush at 7 a.m., the lunch bump at 11, and after work at 5. So we, again, we're seeing here we could apply some information that we have here right into our staff rotors. But scrolling down, we also see the product order counts in charts. Again, the same for revenues based on the different products that we sell, the orders by the hour of the day, and so forth. So we're seeing a glimpse now that the analyst agent well, can give you the information you need from your data. That could be sales data, it could be information to help with a piece of schoolwork, or just your small business, or a project you've got at home. But Analyst inside of this experience is available to you that you can use and get information from. And finally, let's also check out Microsoft Word. The problem I find with Word sometimes is just getting started. You need a particular template which doesn't exist. 
you have to go to the web and maybe download or pay for one from a third party. So let's consider that exact scenario. In our coffee shop, I'd like to also invest in a new coffee machine so we can offer a more better variety of products. But how can I achieve that if I've never created a benefits or a business case to share with a local branch manager in a bank? Well, that could be pretty tricky, but let's go ahead and ask Copilot to help us out with this. On our word canvas, we see an option here. This pencil icon with stars denotes Copilot. If we left click this option, you'll see now it opens a box. What do you want Copilot to draft? Let's now go ahead and paste in this requirement. I need to write up a benefits case about a possible improvement to our coffee shop. It needs a bank investment. The cost is £5,000. Can you help with creating a benefits case report, structuring it professionally in a way which our bank manager would need to see it? Let's go ahead and pass that to Copilot. It now begins to draft up this document, structuring it, and we see it live in real time being created in front of us. We can also see the headings on the left, and this has created a free page report. What I'm interested in though, is understanding what it actually created. Well, it covers the executive summary, the amount we need and why we need it to increase our serving capacity, expand our menu offering and boost customer satisfaction and drive revenue growth. In addition, it provides the background and the current situation to our coffee shop, where the money will be spent and the benefits on the investment itself, and even a risk assessment mitigation and the concluding part of the report. And we could also make changes by left clicking into this section, which says, for example, make it formal. We can make changes, but I'm quite happy with that. So I'll select keep it. The document now, can be changed in whatever way that we want. This is just now a Word document. There is no AI integration or fingerprints or any digital markings. This is a document we can now make changes to that can better suit the investment proposal with our local bank. But that gives you an idea here what Copilot in Word can be used for. Ask it to create a document of a certain type. It'll help you achieve that. Maybe use it as a template or a great place to start. So there you go. We've seen Copilot Pro and Premium working inside of Outlook, Word, Analyst, as well as Copilot Chat. All areas you can get started with today if you have a Copilot Pro or Premium license. So there you go. We've covered Copilot inside of Microsoft 365 Premium. And even if you thought it was called Copilot Pro because you didn't see the notification, well, you can still use these capabilities I've shown you today. Because what we can see, if you're a freelancer, a small business or work on a home project and you have access to this co-pilot, it can do a lot more than you may have thought. Analyzing data, writing emails, writing reports, and even helping you on those problems that you can't seem to find an answer when you're running a Google search on. So now you know how to get started with Copilot and get the most from it. And if you like this video, do let me know by hitting that like button. As well as that, if you haven't already, hit the all important subscribe button because every week, we put out tutorials just like this to help you achieve more with the tools you already have. And other than that, well, thanks for joining today and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.